This is ridiculous. In today's episode, we get tossed around not once, not twice, but three times. If you want to see that and more, join me in today's episode. Let's play. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to continue uh, in the second episode, starting from the uh, the waypoint that we unlocked right before um, we ended the first part. Um, I want to say I managed to play the game uh, in the meantime after I recorded the uh, the first episode, and I've been having a really really great time. Uh, I haven't been playing too much, only three or four hours. Um, but still, I think this game is really, really fun and I hope it keeps that momentum going and uh, yeah, let's see. By the way, I found a good name for, uh, for our little guy here. I was thinking about calling him Biochu. I think that's Porky Puff. And there goes the village. Must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. Yep. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Okay, let's talk to uh, to the survivor and see <laughs> what he has to say. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Your inner balance is two halves that completes a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll uh, be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. Few are those who always act in the same manner, and our wholeness is the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions creates your aura score, uh, which affects the dialogue with other characters. Okay. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Side points. Uh, interacting with captives and side shrines will award you with uh, side points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required dark or light inner balance. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. <laughs> I'll leave it to your faith. Uh, let me help. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Just a spark? <laughs> That's a spark of light in you! I hate her voice so much. <laughs> Um, yeah, I like the light. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making oh. this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. Side points. You've gained the side point. Use it to unlock powers in the mutations menu. Some powers are locked by the aura score, meaning that your side points can only unlock powers of the same color as your current aura or those without color.
There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Okay. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Um, let's see, have the tribes engaged the world leaders? Myriad is convinced that defeating the world eaters is the only way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jagni tribe. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Okay. Uh, quest tracking. Your current and started quests are shown in the journal. See the top menu above. Uh, you can change which quest you track by opening the journal tab and selecting another quest. Okay, so... We have the Jagni Fortress and the Myriad Fortress. Um, we, okay. In the journal, you can find information on your quests as well as all previous tutorials and dialogues. To open the journal at any time, press J. Okay, so. Um, Jagni, okay, or Myriad Sifu. Before we uh, we actually continue, I want to go over something real quick, if the Another game will let me. Road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What will it be? Well, let's see. Okay, so uh, before we actually make a decision, um, I would like to show you something. When you go to character... No, not character. Ah... Let me try to find it. Gear? Nope. Map? Okay, tribes. So map and tribes. If you look here on the right side of the throne, each of the six um, uh, tribes will offer you at a certain point after you sort of become friends with them or after you defeat them. Uh, either one of the two, I think, from what I understood. Uh, will give you this weapon. So Myriad will give you the um, the boomerang. Lotus will give you the uh, throwing star shuriken type of thing. Um, the Ankati will give you the bow. The Jagni uh, the staff. Um, the Netra the uh, grappling hook. And the Pichu I guess. Uh, the I think these are nunchucks if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that um, that's kind of cool to um, think about basically when you make a decision. Um, because we're sort of good. I think I'm going to pick Myriad. 
I don't know if it really matters in terms of good and bad or if all of them can be good and bad. Um, I know there's a rival a rivalry between them, but I don't know if that affects the uh, your actual aura. So we're gonna we're gonna take a right and go towards the um, the Myriad tribe. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. Let's fight. Wait, what? Where are we? Hmm. Why are we helping those guys? That's kind of weird. I hope this is random and we didn't help out the uh, the wrong tribe by accident. <laughs> okay, so we leveled up, so I'm actually gonna have a quick look here. I'm you gonna like it out. I'm gonna put a lot of points into into intellect. Um, I kind of want to build him like a let's say like a sorcerer like um elemental type of stuff um but because he's bio two i was thinking of only getting um uh, psi powers and biogenetics um that sort of revolve around lightning i don't know if that's going to, going to be possible but i am going to give it a try um on the biogenetics side of things, it doesn't really seem like that's an option. Maybe we can pick these two later on. Hmm. We'll see. On the side power um, uh, side of things, we could use the key spark, I guess, and the spark ball. But apart from that, not much, unfortunately. Um, I feel like they should have added many, many more um, biogenetics and psi powers. There is there is very few to to choose from. Let's see, Wung Fu, uh, close combat, unarmed. Okay, okay, unspeakable hand. And we have blow noose. Okay, but we unfortunately don't have enough points. And ranged combats. Oh, we already have access to. Okay, cool. Um, on my second character, I actually played the um, uh, what's it called? The guy with the pistols. Um, not mercenary. Yeah, I can't remember the uh, the name right now. I'm going to write it on the screen if I remember. Um, and I actually play with dual wheel pistols. And instead of like, you know, 10, 12 bullets, I have like 64 or something. And I've only been playing for a few hours. Um, before we actually go towards the, uh, the, the fortress, I would like to go get those, those chests down there. Okay. You will get here later on, probably, but since I remembered um, that they're here, I thought, why not? Might as well pick them up.
Uh, there are also some enemies down there. I don't think they drop anything. Oh, actually, I think you can search for some stuff. We're gonna look later on because there's also a cave nearby. There's there's so much in this game. Um, like I said, I've, I've been playing for a few hours and every time I try to go towards the main quest... Oh, look, That's there's something the on the right. Oh, look, there's something... Will they be friends or foe? Uh, something... There. Really? That way you'll know. Um, there's only something to do. That's what I was, uh, what I was trying to say. Anything else wrong here? I don't think so. So let's do the, um, waypoint, let's uh, see. unlocking technique. Okay. On the other, uh, character, I think I've reached kind of this whole area. Something like this. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Bam. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. I'm out of here. Uh, your Sifu, please? Cautions you that the Sifu may be a little impatient today, as bad news has just come in from the front line. Sibi? Mm-hmm. La panen aginkan man. Karatna falo putut mustugai la wute. Mm-hmm. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. Okay. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. A vigilante? He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Mooma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Okay. Uh, disciples? <laughs> there were six of them, but the unity fell apart after Lupa Lupin attacked the old village. Soon after, they formed new tribes based on their own values, and when the blight started, the animosity escalated to war. Get a work. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. But where are young, okay? Get out of Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good. If you believe there's some good oh, in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the World Eaters to save the Tree of Life. Um... Yeah, I'll join them in the He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. <laughs> the Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Coerce? 
to guy la bute get a wala click click the myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. Oh, so he wants to be the D uh, king. From what I understand. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. <laughs> at least you're at peace with yourself. <laughs> I wish there were an You need to take the struggle to the enemy, or the enemy will bring it to you. When survival is threatened, there's no other option left but war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. I thought this was really cool. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Get a one thing. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. Hmm. Challenge to unite? They pass the point Get of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Uh, the, old, uh, the old village? Even though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place that will make you remember. Man, I love story, <clears throat> storytelling and um, dialogues and stuff, but this game just takes it to a whole new level. I think it's a little bit exaggerated, if you ask me. Oh, let's let's steal some stuff. And then we can continue with our mission. Oh, another chest. And another one. Okay, so this is the shop. weird um up until um you get the tutorial for crafting and stuff i don't think there's a way you can get gear i only received consumables so far i don't know if i've i was just incredibly unlucky or it's just not possible because you need to go through the uh sort of tutorial to reach this um, this point anything else not that I can see so let's uh, carry on with uh... okay pass through the cave and uh, the cave that I was talking about is uh, let me check is it right here nope 
<laughs> I think it's on the right. Or is it here? Yeah, it's here. Like, even in, in this location, I thought I was going to find the biggest, baddest weapon in the game. And, uh, you open the chest and you get a health pack. Which is, you know, a little bit underwhelming. Um, I was kind of hoping to get something, you know, more exciting. Not that health packs are bad or anything like that, of course not, but, you know, something cool, something shiny. Um, let's go towards the, um, the goal. Uh, actually, we should have. Nah, it's fine like this. Hmm, or is it? Oh well. I guess we're exploring. You could say. Nope. God damn it. There we go. Okay. This is the actual road. I'm thinking how I'm gonna play this uh, this character. Uh, like I said, I kind of just want to have lightning-based stuff, but your energy depletes, and I don't think that intelligence affects how strong this uh, this item hits the uh, the glove, because technically it's. Um, it's an arm. So I'm not really sure if by boosting intelligence would get me anything. Uh, let's see. Outfits. This is the outfits menu where you can create and save different gear setups. Okay. So let's see. Stat details. For example, let's look at... Melee damage. The amount of damage that a weapon or ability deals. Uh, the damage output of melee weapons will be higher depending on your strength attributes. The damage output of abilities um, increases as your power stat increases. Hmm. See, this is kind of what I meant. The damage output of melee weapons will be higher depending on your strength. So technically, it does not... Uh, you can sort your gear according to different stats. You can scrap highlighted piece, uh, the highlighted piece of gear for crafting resources by pressing X. Okay, so we have the uh, the spark glove, and let's see. So it's it's considered a two-handed weapon. Okay, weight class. I kind of wanted this. Um, I was kind of hoping that this would be uh, related to intelligence. Damage, no. Mm, attack speed, critical chance, armor pierce. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really sure which way I'm gonna go with this. Cause if I wanted to go towards the um, mutations and psi powers, that would be one thing, right? You can buy all of these. You can buy all of these and just go to town with them well you can only unlock four but you know what i mean um you can only have four active at a time but since i kind of wanted to have the um lightning only character um i feel like i'm limited to um spark ball and key spark the melee that we have the spark glove and also Technically, a way to uh, sign the, uh, kind of go around this is to have a weapon that has 
like an inherent lightning based um, power on it or something like that we'll see as uh, as the game develops we'll see if the uh, uh, if that's even an option Oh, that thing hits. Whoa, that thing hits so much. Oh. Like, I was hoping this would be a potentially viable wave play, you know, just with the just with that power okay what do we get see it kind of looks like it's only consumables yeah I think you can only get consumables until you go through the, um, the tutorial Actually, that tutorial is gonna is gonna pop up right now. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Time to pee. Let's see. I think this is really really cool um i think this game has a lot of layers on top of it uh, on top of each other you you have boss fights you have sort of monster hunts um finding loot uh, um like specific loot for uh, boats and robots and whatever things like that and um a lot of quest chains um, like saving 25 uh, prisoners across the map, uh, finding I don't know how many um, boxes with upgrades for your robot, and it I think it it has a lot of layers, and that's really really good. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Aww. Can't complain. Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. <laughs> swimming? I mean to Wong Fu. Not this week. <laughs> uh, I'd sure like to. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Um, This is actually funny for what's about to happen. Uh, yeah, let's go. Why not? There's no better time to do what needs to be done than right now. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you can swim in most waters, uh, while in very deep water, you're, uh, you slowly lose key energy, and when you're out of key, you'll drown. And yeah, the key drops really fast when you're swimming. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? Um, you almost drowned me. He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. Yeah, to be real. But you need practice, lots of practice. 
Swing is not my thing. Or a better teacher. Ooh. I'll keep trying. Let's be nice. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. <laughs> I'll try harder to soak up your instructions. You can never try too hard. Judging by your Moomba's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. Uh, okay, so we've got here Pika Muma? Muma Chu? No, Pika Muma. <laughs> I've been looking forward to it. I lost track of time. Wung Fu is easy. Um, I've been looking forward Amu. to it. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. Amu. You should know. Practice makes perfect. You're right. I'll tra uh, train harder. What? Pra uh, why practice what I know? Um, you're right. You have to keep working on it if you want to be good at it. She'll see you at the village square. See you there soon. I love training with you. Let's give, let's give Muma some love. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. Um, I really like the fact that, I know it's, I don't know, maybe not something wow or whatever, but I like the fact that Mini-Me looks like me and Muma looks like me, if that makes sense. I don't know, I, I think that's really cool. He has another familiar face with lights on his mind. <laughs> Wolf, wow. Asks how you're feeling today. Better now that I'm talking to you. <laughs> Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. <laughs> he was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. It's our duty. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Okay, let's go look for scraps. And turn them into a weapon. That will um, make no sense whatsoever. <laughs> He wonders what usefulness you found. Uh, I'm not sure. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left lying around on the ground. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Um, this is weird. Sometimes it feels like the, the things they're saying and the choices that you have to, uh, to make don't align so he can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle this one kind of makes sense this one not so much i think i don't know it's just it, sometimes it feels off it feels like the uh, the decisions are I don't know how to say this. Like they don't match the question. I don't know. Maybe this was not the best example. They can sort of fit uh, in some way, but sometimes it just feels off. Um, let's choose this one. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Okay, so let's go into crafting. Uh, crafting intro, welcome to crafting. Here you can modify existing weapons and armors, or if you're feeling creative, create entirely new weapons from scratch. With the right pieces, you can craft your own weapons. 
crafting base. To start crafting your weapon, first select the base. This defines which kind of weapon you will craft. There are three different kinds of melee weapons. Crush, one-handed slash and two-handed slash. To continue crafting your weapons, select your handle slot. Okay, let's look at the handle. Hmm. Oh, this one looks kind of cool. Um, this would be interesting just to make something really weird. Okay, so. Hmm. This is interesting too. <laughs> um. No, let's check the ones at the beginning. Kind of like this one, but I also kind of want to try something that has like a huge grip. Maybe something like this, or where was the other one? The one with that had kind of like purple on it. This one. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this one. He looks so weird. Uh, to craft uh, your weapon, press F. Can I change the uh, the base type though? No, I cannot. I can only change the handle. Now I cannot change anything. Okay. Rubber grip knife. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. I wanted something. Cutting edge. <laughs> he appreciates those able to deliver a sharp remark. <laughs> he understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. Uh, I'll ask Mama to teach me how to use it. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. Da -na -na -na. Gala. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. <laughs> What's on schedule today? Um, sorry I'm late, I was helping Gizmo. And Sonbara. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. Gone? She won't live forever, you know that. But she intends to make the most of every day she gets, especially the ones you share together. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. I'll always follow you. <laughs> then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. Fine, fine. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. People keep bothering me with stuff. It's not my fault. Let's look at the knife. Oh, yeah. Look at the way he's holding it. It's almost like a double blade. Let's go. They look determined. Better watch out. The guy on the right. Hmm. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. Wait a minute. I think all three of them are leaders. Oh yeah, that's actually right. Because this guy will give me the boomerang. This guy is the Jagni tribe leader with the staff thingy. And uh, Putty Uncutty, apparently, is uh, the guy with the bow. So, he asks you this. Oh, I don't want any trouble. I'm late for training. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. Uh, I'd rather be a nobody than you. <laughs> That's... Um... 
No one needs to get hurt. Hey, Pussy. You'll have to face pain at some point. He offers to help you get it over with. He's gonna push me. No. Oh no, he didn't. Oh no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow, ow. Really? Give me a load. Jeez. Come on, man, leave me alone. There we go, first time. Oh no, he's not dead yet. Why am I having such a hard time with these guys? Nope. I mean, apart from, you know, not dodging and repeatedly getting hit in the head. Okay. <laughs> Look at his face. It's so good. And they left. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? Uh, first of all, go get my weapon. <laughs> and uh, let's say they're insecure. Kalino can't see. If confidence is silent and insecurity is loud, she thinks you're absolutely right. The most important thing is that you're okay. Andro? It's time to focus on your training now. I must get stronger than my excuses. Um, I'll clear my mind. She said it before. Wang Fu will keep your body in good health, and that's how you keep your mind strong and clear. And when you think we're finally going to go and train with Muma, this happens. We found Popsy, I think. Is someone close to heart doing what he does best? Some. Seeing you always puts a yeah, smile Popsy. on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. Um. I feel useful. <laughs> he heard you helped Gizmo clean up. He's proud of you. Thanks, Popsy. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. Um, family comes first. He wishes that was true for your Moomer too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Well, seems like there's, uh, <clears throat> there's some problems between uh, <laughs> Mama and Popsy there. <laughs> So we found the the first uh, cloth pile. This is the second one. I always forget to place uh, to to press the right click. I press E and then I'm like, just what now? Baba Zulu. He's curious to see what you found. Again, I'm God. not he sure. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left forgotten at the bottom of a pile of recyclables. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. So basically, the exact same. I think it's the exact same. Uh, oh, yeah, even this one is the exact same one. Or something really, really similar, but I think it's uh, the exact same one. Hey guys, Future Zabko here. Yeah, it seems that the two are really, really similar. You know, in school, when um, you would ask a colleague to uh, let you copy his homework, but he says, 
make sure you change some stuff so that the teacher doesn't catch on. Well, it's kind of like that. They're pretty much saying the same thing. Um, sure, I'll get my gets, uh, my hands dirty. Says at least dirty hands are proof that you tried, and that counts. That you failed this time doesn't mean you can't succeed the next. He says it's about time you learned how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. True that. Popsy dropping some knowledge. Uh, when looting, you will find add-ons, and these can be crafted onto an item to increase the stats of the item. To upgrade armor and clothing with items, select a slot and add-on, then press F. Okay, let's see. Oh, we can add... Um, sure, let's go with this one. So what did these things give me? So, 5 armor... 7 armor, 5 armor, 8 armor, actually it doesn't really matter, I think, critical chance, um, do we have any other, with, oh, 3%, hmm, yeah, let's go with the one with 3% critical hit, and, uh, critical chance, and 5 armor, um, Oh. Three? Come on, where is it? There it is. Craft. Oh, okay, cool. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. I like it anti fashioned. <laughs> Why add food a higher? Agrees. At least that way it'll never go out of style. Why add food a higher? You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. Um, I'll show it to Mumo. Why? He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. Yeah, I should yeah, cool. He's beat the shit out of me for being what late. Make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Let's go get our ass kicked. Hey mom, sorry I'm late <laughs> again. Kanamunta, your Muma says it's about time you got here. Hmm. I'm here now, ready to go. Better late than never. Um. Yeah, let's go. Inadabzunka, vaisenoktasaman verut. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. True that. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. No, because they're stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to do whatever it takes. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. <laughs> there we go. I like how he looks back for confirmation. Like, your awesome, says right? you did well today. She's so proud of you. Um, thanks. Why are you proud? I did all the work. <laughs> Bio Chew is a savage. Thank you, Muma. Thanks you for being such a good student. Gendra Anamala and Sonbara. Been working on a present for you. With the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. How thoughtful of him. It's about time he did something for me. Man, he's a savage. Says he's always thought so well of you. Just like her. Hmm. 
Run. Come on. Why are you running? Catchy. There we go. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Um, what an effort it must have been. She's happy you appreciate what others do for you. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Um, that's good if anything bad happens. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. But what a day it's been. <laughs> She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. <laughs> Look at my ear. Nothing could stop Luke and Lupin from setting the world on fire. Can't see. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. Okay. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. Oh, no, no, That's no, no. just adding fuel to the flames. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Um, why is it here? He wants to destroy her. The time to fight is coming whether she's ready for it or not. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Ala. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. Um. Fine, I'll stay on the Exactly way. what she wants you to do. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. The thing is, oh, what the? I said I'd stay out of the way. Come on. Um. Oh, so the game kind of forces you to fight. The thing is, I'm kind of dragging her down instead of helping her. So that's kind of why I chose to um let her fight. But I think it's part of the game, and I need to fight no matter what. So. Let's kick his ass. I wonder what would happen if uh, I would have stayed away from the fight. If that was even an option to begin with. Through fire and water to make it out of here. Yeah, I think it it goes to the same moment in time. She goes, you go. It doesn't really matter if you fight or run, or if you just deal more damage or whatever. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The swim, Mama, swim. It wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow.
And that guy is gonna pop up soon. Okay. Uh oh. Whoa. You can do this. Come on, Muma. Come on. Nah, it goes to the same. That's unfortunate. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Crafting menu. You can now craft weapons and modify your gear in the crafting menu. Okay, we'll uh, actually we'll we are going to go a little bit further so that the episode doesn't end on such a <laughs> such a sad note. So we're, go we're gonna fight some stuff, right? The tribes caught a fluffy hog. Better oh, watch fluffy out. Hulk. It's no pet. Let's kick his ass. They couldn't keep it down. Fluffholes on the loose. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Sometimes there's no way to cancel out of a combo. And that makes things really, really hard. You're on the ropes. I didn't have enough uh, energy to dodge. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Nope. Oh, man, come on. That was cool. No, 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 no. That was cool. No. Oh my god. Move! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that guy kept blocking me. What? Why can't I select him? There we go. There it is, guys. <clears throat> we have defeated the uh, fluffy hulk. I think they call it. You gave them no choice but to take it down, even though they planned to take the fluff hulk out to the far fnacky leaves and let it go. 
How is this my fault? They've received news a Ronin had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. Ah, no papuno. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost and are waiting for you there. You should hurry there and help them best the outpost. Are we strong enough? You complete them. From this point on, the myriad is unbroken. Okay, actually, um... Okay, now we're gonna go into the, uh, the subway. But that is going to be in the next part, guys. This was a lot of fun. Like I said, this, this game is actually... It's actually really nice. The last time I checked on... Um, on Steam... Uh, it had mixed reviews and I don't know why so far if the game gets I don't know bad <laughs> the more you play it then yeah that might be a problem but so far after I don't know five four or five hours I guess um, of gameplay I absolutely love this game I think it's beautiful and it's fun and it's full of stupid puns and I don't know it's just it's just fun it's, it's good times basically yeah well all that being said um thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next adventure take care